Hey, welcome back everybody to another Repentance Countdown 100% Win Eden Streak uh, video here on Northern Gaming. We're 19 for Eden Streak. We're at 37 days for Repentance. Some would call that a month and a week, and they'd be correct. Let's hop on into the run. 37, one of my favorite prime numbers. Just put it out there. Let's see what this run's got in store for us. V646 Eel 9. Alright, we got Glitter Bomb, Spider Butt, Low Speed, Low Range. Good shot speed. 11 tiers isn't the worst thing. Great damage. And um, the thumbnail, thumbtack, whatever the, Jesus Christ, whatever the trinket is that gives you sometimes uh, piercing and spectral uh, tiers. Oh gosh. What's it called? Push pin. There we go. Push pin. All right. Uh, guillotine, we're going to avoid as much as it is a damage and tears up. Nobody likes guillotine, and I'm 100% somebody, so. Can't be liking guillotine these days. Not unless you're from France. Alright, we got red hearts galore as well, which is real nice. Hopefully that'll prove useful on the next floor's devil deal that we should be able to secure, assuming we find a tin rock or two to, uh, you know, save our red hearts from damage. Or maybe we'll just play good and not take damage. Ha ha ha. Yeah, probably not. Alright, we got six bombs. It's pretty nice. Seven. And with glitter bombs, obviously we have a chance of getting a uh, pickup or something from the bomb. Key, a bomb, I guess. Soul heart sometimes. Nothing that time. But, hey, a whole battery uh, to use for some reason, so maybe we'll do that. We'll use Spider Butt here if it's a terrible room. Not that terrible. Nice uh, burning basement fire path lets us in here for free, and we can bomb here for a Tinted Rock and a chest. Alright, we'll keep that Soul Heart, and we'll keep... Ooh, that's a tough choice. Push pin is so nice. Uh, we'll do spider butt. It's mass slow and a bit of damage for the room. Push pin is nice, but wooden cross is so nice, but only once per floor, you know? I guess it is burning basement. We could take it in the boss fight to get one free hit. <coughs> Let's see. We got eh, we got spider butt. Let's just go. Ragman. We're going to save spider butt in case we get swarmed by ads. That's for sure. We could even use... We have plenty of bombs. We could use a bomb uh, offensively here. Let's get this guy out of there. Perfect. Alright, you're not going to res, right? Cool. Alright, didn't do a ton of damage. Let's do this now. It hits him and his head for damage. That's good. Alright, we might just finish him up here. And we did. That was really nice. Alright, HP and luck. Luck might help with the uh, push pin. I'm not very sure. Let's grab this soul heart. And honestly, we can head down. Get the secret room. Not sure where the super secret is. Could be in left of here or top or left of here. So, not going to blow all our bombs. We got a decent start. And I, I feel like this is going to be a, a good run. Alright, that was unexpected. I was expecting a blood machine and to make some money in that room. But there's just a bed and what was that, a key beggar? Not the uh not the expected layout for that room for sure. So we might have wasted a penny or not. Let's see what we do with the devil deal. If we happen to trade away four red hearts, then that bed can give us uh three soul hearts for sure. Oh my gosh. Alright, we barely got out of there. Uh, thanks to spider butts, that's nice. Use that to blow up one person. Probably should have used that barrel earlier in the room. But we didn't take damage, so I'll call it a win, if slightly lucky. Alright, no new real repentance news for you today. Nothing new from Ed. Uh, he retweeted some tapeworm stuff. That's one of his card games. Looks interesting, so have at it if you're interested but you probably already heard of it I'm not the first person to tell you about it unless I am in which case you're welcome 
But let's clear this room here, get a key, and move on. Secret room could be here, I think. And we got a pill from Glitter Bombs. Ooh, we got a blank card for free. Alright, definitely worth considering. We're gonna have to get, you know, a card though. Actually, we got the cursed room right here. Let's check it out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll take Spider Butt for now, because it has a use. Where Blank Card doesn't, but, um. Well, you know. Okay, let's go silently this way. Open this up. Okay, we made a, a bomb in exchange for a key, I suppose. Not exactly what we needed, but hey, maybe it'll help out in the future. Because that bomb could turn into another key all on its own, thanks to uh, Glitter Bomb, so you never know. And there's a key. Alright, we're doing fine. Libra, alright. That'll give us a speed up, I think a range up. Honestly, I think it'll give us a damage down as well. So right now, taking it might not be the... Might give us a tears up, though. I'm not sure. Right now, taking it wouldn't be the best for us, I think. Alright, so we got a playing card here. We got blank card in the other room. We gotta go for it. And we got two bombs from the whatcha call. Exceedingly rare payout. Oh, I just walked past those guys for no reason. Alright. Two of clubs. Alright. We could turn this into a bomb-heavy run. Oh my god, what a terrible room. We could just continuously double our bombs. Uh, and then use them for combat and other things. I guess that's a that's a plan. Alright, how do we get out of this room? Oh yeah, pay attention. I wasn't paying attention. I was just walking by earlier. That's my fault. Alright, we'll go into the shop. Honestly, if there's a donation machine, we could take out as much money as we want, probably. Uh, no. We're gonna need... Alright, I was going to say, we're going to need another soul heart. Because I feel terrible for walking into that spike. But hey, here's some money. There's another pill. A three cent card that we're not interested in. Let's get one more soul heart just to protect ourselves. Ooh, this is nice, actually. Tower Cloth comes with a free judgment that we're not going to be uh, playing. So, more cash. A chest, which is a pretty rare payout from a judgment, and we're actually set up to have unlimited bombs for the rest of the run. Asterisk. I didn't do the math, but pretty much. I mean, it feels like it, right? And if we find a better card, Cure Font, we can roll with that too, you know? Alright, Wiggle Worm is a tears up. A little more valuable than the occasional uh, piercing shot, some would say. And we still got Libra sitting in the item room. I know we skipped both item rooms so far, but we might take it depending on what stats we get. Like if we get um, Speedball or Roid Rage, that's a definite uh, go back and get Libra. Oh my gosh. But honestly, we have to see what we get. And we're getting a deal. It's going to be a big... Uh... Alright, that's a pure speed up. And we can get uh, one third Guppy and Goat's Head. Let's play this and see if we get a syringe or something. Okay, we did get a syringe. Speed and damage. So we're going to take both of these, but then leave Guppy's head because we're going to bomb heavy run. We'll take the speed up. And now we have a boatload of speed. Now taking Libra should lower our speed and maybe give us uh, something positive. We actually have six damage. Our damage might get lower slowly, but everything after this becomes an all stats up. Let's see what happens. More tiers, one less damage, but we got a lot more range. Allegedly. It doesn't look like a lot. Maybe it's all getting wiggled out. Alright. Well, we got plenty of bombs, and in one more room we can have like 60. So let's keep going. And like I said, from now on all we have is a uh, is all stats up. PhD would be a great thing because the range up pills become, uh, you know, everything up pills, speed up pills, same thing. We're getting the bomb back for free there. I don't see PhD, so let's just use this now. And we got 44 bombs thanks to Tarot Cloth. And 
honestly, we could probably cheese the bombs to get free consumables for the rest of run too. But that's not necessary because we're not like lacking in much else. But we could basically use a bomb per room and always have more bombs. On like on jerks like this, but he just stays there, so honestly you don't need to. Okay. Time that right. Free pill. Okay. He's just laying sacks, man. What the heck? Alright. Beautiful bomb there, a chest containing not much help. Alright, that was an unfortunate hit. I don't know if we got caught in the poison of the mushroom or if we were in, it, in his explosion radius. I'm not sure. But we got 99 bombs. What's this? Ace of hearts. Uh, I mean, we could turn the heart into something else. It's probably not a soul heart. Nope. But we tried. Alright, not much else to do in the shop. We could blow him up, but we already have a 100% deal chance, so not much point, but not much point to keep 99 bombs when we can quadruple it every four rooms. Okay. I, I basically dodged into that. Probably one of the worst plays I've ever done in my life. And I feel like I say that sentence pretty much every uh, run here. But you know what? We're going to hit 20 win streak, hopefully. So, uh, I must be doing something right. I actually haven't had that many bad starts besides, like, one. And we came out of that pretty nicely, so. We have been getting pretty lucky with our seeds. Some could say. Right, get these guys. Item room here. A stats up of any sort would be great, as we all know. Uh, three red HP up. Not exactly what I was thinking, but I'll take it. That'll go well with our goat head, and hopefully not uh, Krampus deal this floor. Oh my god, really? You would do this to me on my own birthday? It's not my birthday. Let's get this guy out of here. Alright. Just blow it up, we don't have that much money. There's some money. Alright, so we don't have to use a blank card until we're down to 25 bombs, and that'll give us a full stack of bombs. So we can go ham, which we'll be doing in the boss fight, probably, unless it's dangerous to our health. But that was the super secret room. We did find the regular secret room. Did find the, uh, the item room and stuff, so we're good to go after this. Uh, we might as well use, uh... uh okay. We could have played the speed up, isn't all stats up. Here's half a damage point, it's pretty nice. We could have played the Demon Beggar, or even kept Judgment, because, you know, but we didn't, that's okay. Peep, not too much of an issue, and we can lay a bomb every time he chases us with a big jump, because you know, we know he's coming to our location. There we go. Uh-oh. Yo, that eye tracked me down, man. What's up with that? Alright, don't pee, don't pee. There we go. Alright, another soul heart. We'll take it. Luck up, not affected by Libra. But you know what it is? Well, technically not. Can't be in conception either, but we'll take it because we have so many red hearts. And let's head on down. Try to speed this run up a little bit. Yikes. Curse of Darkness. Take these guys out, leave a bomb, maybe. Oh my gosh. He died much quicker than I thought. I think we only hit him once or twice. Must have been some stray shots. Hey, that's real nice. Um, no, these are... There's holes there. We can't get secret rooms or anything. I can't see anything. Curse the darkness. But we're trying, you know? Right, let's back these guys into a corner and then uh, miss with our bomb. Here we go. Could check for magic mush here. Could get a nickel. Don't have PhD, so we're not going over there. A 
that should damage somebody. Oh my gosh, just the replicating guy. Alright. How'd he get out? Oh well, why isn't the host standing up? Please. Oh my god. How many shots are we gonna have to deal with? And how many enemies did you just spit out, man? Come on. Holy moly. Alright. Okay, more mulligans. Seems to be the theme for the floor. Just take them out. I know they got different names when they spit out different things than flies, but I don't have that kind of time to memorize them all, no offense. So, there you go. Holy. A lot of worms. And we poisoned one. We got a full card for our trouble. Could use that to get out of the cursed room with only half a heart damage. We'll see. Alright, Wiggle Worm's letting us shoot into the wall, which is detrimental. Holy Water! For the first time, not happy to see Holy Water. Usually I'm thrilled. Okay. Room here might be a little slow going, but it's okay. We got Wiggle Worm and when you got Wiggle Worm, life can only smile at you. That's the true slogan for Wiggle Worm. I'm not making that up. Alright, Tinted Rocks, please. Not that I can see. Nope. Dangerous room to use a bomb. That's okay. Because we got a bomb back. We got 92. We'll save, uh, we'll save the charge in case we get another judgment or something to lay down for fun. Coming up, you're going down. Oh, now you're coming. What a jerk. Alright. Another key. Seems to be a boss room here. Let's go find the shop, though. Because we have such, uh, such an ability to buy items. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, take him out before he spits again. And take all them out. Because we can. Why is he charmed? Is that from Glitter Bombs? Greedy, kid me. Oh my. You bastard. Alright, we gotta get our money back. Perfect, perfect. We got the bombs to spare, so. Alright, missed a shop. That's unfortunate. We got plenty of red hearts, though, and bombs for the boss. I'm feeling like Bighorn or something. Flood of Caves 2. Who else could it be? I don't know. It's gotta be Bighorn. There's nobody else. Let's blow these up. Maybe like a crawl space just because it's a lot of rocks. Or not. Alright, well at least we found the shop quickly, even if it wasn't a real shop. Check this real quick. And this one. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Gertie. Kill this guy in front. Try to keep some bombs going on Gertie's uh, side. Excuse me, sec. I had to scratch my nose. Alright. Um, it looks like it's the Gertie that only spawns things. Due to the fact that I think it is. And it's not shooting. But in the Curse of Darkness, it's always not a 100% chance to be able to tell. Hey, we got a card from uh, Glitter Bomb. So that's something. A moon card, not interesting. Range up, that's great. All stats up. Another tier, so another half point of damage. So our da oh my gosh, hold on. So our damage is back to where we were when we picked up Libra. So from now on, everything up is just going to be an everything up. Alright, so what do we have? We have f one, two, three, four, five. We have five hearts, the exact amount here on the floor to take deals with, but we don't need uh, Betrayal. Two-thirds Guppy is fine. Maw of the Void is incredible. And uh, Death's List can provide us with all stats ups, right? Take that, we're a little low on health, which is unfortunate. I guess we can visit the secret room real quick. We know it's not going to be greed. It's just some money, which is a little unfortunate. I can't believe we didn't check this. Oh my god. 
I can't believe we didn't check this, and I can't believe it's rubber cement. My favorite item of all time. Rubber cement. Oh my gosh. Let's use Maw to speed this up. Uh, rubber cement's worth it. Rubber cement makes your tears bounce all around. And that's just fun for everyone involved. And we got a black heart from that poop. So we even profited on health, too. Alright, well, I'm glad we used the moon card. I love rubber cement. It's not sarcastic. My favorite item. Fool card. No thanks. We gotta go back and get our bomb card. We're real low on bombs. We only have 73. You know what? I'm putting rubber cement on the, uh, on the thumbnail. But you already knew that because you clicked on this video. Thanks, by the way. Alright. Where are we on? Depths 1? Dank Depths 1. Okay. Rubber cement? Again? No? Could do that room, though. It's not a, not a huge issue. Alright, he's gonna screw us up when he spawns a spider. Bastard. Alright, Deaths List. Not always completable, but strive to do it when you can, right? Let's check this out. Some cash. Uh, let's do the four gold chests. Oh, here's a tuned rock. Could get Cricket's Head, which would be a great all stats up. And maybe something else, I don't know. Two pennies. There we go. Don't know why I wasn't proccing Maw the Void on those first guys. But now we can. Or we can... Save it for mom's hands. Alright. Alright, well, there's a soul heart. Oh my god, it did get Cricket's head. So what's that? Pretty good. Uh, one full damage up, another full tears up. And speed range, yada yada. So pretty nice. Let's triple our bombs. And try to get this room. Well, I already failed. But them's the breaks, right? Okay, we're not touching the Mimic. Let's go up and up. Okay, we're not getting Death's List here, so don't worry about it. Okay, one more guy. I think we got all the hands. Curse Room we could try. We only need one more for Guppy. This is a great build for Guppy, because we got a lot of shots coming out, we got decent damage, and we could use the flying. Let's see how it pans out. We got two, four more Devil Deals, I think. Unless we get Wombs XL. One of them will be Krampus, but hey, we got three more potential deals to buy things at, right? Uh, we'll blow up the Skulls for some Black Hearts, or High Priestess card. Maybe not, maybe not. Alright, kill this guy. And that's why you take your time with the run. I know it's not the fastest run, but we took our time, we got rubber cement, and we got all stats up from Death's List. Not sure what the base stat was, but it was a bit of damage, a bit of speed, and range. Okay, I know Libra's not everybody's favorite pick, but guess what? Lusty Blood is an all stats up throughout every room now. Which I know is a little strange, and would have been better as pure damage, but, you know, get over it. Uh, that's all I have to say. Alright, Rubber Cement, doing the work, bouncing around. Wiggle Worm, also doing some wiggling. There we go, alright. Get those guys out of there. Gold Heart would have been nice. Shop down here, we got f over 50 cents, and we're going to have even more. Oh my god. Alright, we got 83 cents. Hopefully next floor has a shop, or else pretty much all shops were bust this run. But you know what? Sometimes that's how the shop crumbles. Alright, get this guy out of here. Couple of keys. Couple of pills. Brownie. Pretty quick fight. Alright, Blood Clot is certainly something. 
a damage up that doesn't get uh, spread out thanks to Libra. Alright, one of these or both of these might proc Leviathan. Because what, what do we have? Maw of the Void and Goathead? Are they both on it? I don't know. Oh, well, that didn't do it. Uh, this might proc Leviathan. Okay, I'm crazy. How are those two and Maw of the Void not all on the Leviathan transformation? And honestly, I wasn't even looking at my health when I did any of that. I'm, I'm glad we're still alive. Uh, yeah, we got a decent amount. Obviously, the ceremonial robes replaces black hearts, and the mark gave us one. All right, let's head on down. Still looking for that guppy item or a dang shop with dang hearts in it. You know what I'm saying? All right, easy list payout here, and it looks like it was a luck up. So I'd call that worth it. So we're going to need all the luck we can get. Re-up our bombs. Alright, what's up with all the troll bombs? Trolling people. Four oh four. Random trinket effect for a room. No thanks. I know uh, anti-birth... You know how uh, Liberty Cap gives you a random mushroom for the room? Anti-Birth had, what is it, broken syringe? Or crack syringe or something like that? Gives you a random syringe for a room. I, that's probably coming back for Repentance. There's a Lucky Penny, that's nice. Alright, give that back, it's an all stats up. Half a damage point. Son of a biscuit. Alright, let's see how unlucky we are. Alright, well, it's a shop, but it's not much of a shop. We get charge baby, because why not? We'll blow him up for no reason, really. Except for the fact that we have the bombs. We didn't need the deal. 98. We, we could use a different card now. That's all I'm going to say. Hero font comes to mind. That's about it. I mean, there's others, obviously. Justice would be fine for some things. Judgment would be... Oh, nice. Two black hearts. Lovely. Oh, tech point five. Thank you so much for showing up. Alright, Holy Water is really carrying the run here, but believe it or not, uh, I think we're doing fine. Okay. We found the other room, we found the shop. Let's, uh, this could be something. I'm surprised it was close enough. Yeah, what the, what's up with the extra red fires? Get out of here. Orange fires, whatever you want to call them. We do have enough bombs that we can spare some for these, uh, chests. Steven would obviously be nice. All right, I can't call them all. I called uh, I called Cricket's head. Isn't that good enough for you, Dad? All right. Anyway, give me that. Okay. Over here, Tech Point Five doing some work. I believe that also uh, ricochets, as you can see, with rubber cement. So that's high damaging. And there we go. Mother shouldn't take too long our high output and maw damage. Here we go. No tin and rock that I can see. Let's head in here to get guppy. That's not guppy. But you know what? It's pretty dang good. Only costs us a heart because there's two on the floor. Curse of the Maze, Utero 1. Hey, not a room you see that often. I'm glad we were able to do it without taking damage. Here's a room you do see often. Just fire forward and walk in after the one uh, falls off the poop. That's how you beat it. Alright. We have Guppy's tail, so that's giving us the gold chest every once in a while. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. We've got two more Devil Deal chances. One could be Krampus. All we need is one guppy item. We've had like four runs in a row, or like four runs in a week, where we're two-thirds guppy, and we never get a third piece, so, you know, we're, we're hoping on a miracle here, and we don't need it, but it would just be nice to be overpowered. Right? Okay. Dark Bum, doing the work. We're totally ignoring Death's List, but if we do happen to get a payout, great.
was just checking. I don't remember the layouts of any of the rooms. Alright, let's go in to near the boss room and then head to the boss room. Sister Vis will be easy with our AoE damage. Actually, it's kind of an insult how fast it was. And uh, PJ's is nice. Of course, there's no deal. So, PJ's will be a little bit wasted. But that's okay. Love a call, please? Thank goodness. And another soul heart. Alright, we barely even have to take PJ's at this point. But I guess we will. For the one and a half soul hearts. Alright, Curse of the Blind Scarred Womb 2. Unfortunate for our last devil deal, but honestly, we got a crap ton of health. So, we should be okay with taking uh, pretty much anything. Hoping for, as I've been saying all run, a guppy piece. Alright, there's a black heart. We'll leave that all on the floor. So if we end up taking a lot of deals, we can, uh, can re-up our health when viable. Obviously, after the deal. Alright, pick that up, Dark Bell. Just in case. Thank you, bro. Alright, what's in here? A ton of crap. Rubber cement. I can just stand here. Rubber cement clears the whole room. Let's be honest. Alright. Deathless got us a nickel. Could be nice for money equals power. But we'll see. Oh my gosh. Dark bum. Paid out in this room. That's perfect. Hey. Filigree Feather. Not helpful. Blank card. Uh, Alright, yeah. Pretty much... Uh, and we got Tarot Cloth, so it's a full minute of invincibility here. That's uh, pretty nice. On a four-room cooldown, you know what? I'll take it. Probably don't need it, because we are overpowered, but we'll use it, and we'll be happy about it. So this just became a definite win, a definite win number 20 in the books. And Battery Baby wants to make sure of that as well. Not going to the void though, because we're not crazy. Just two items here. I'll take them both and hope for a uh, Rotten Baby, which is nice, and Book of Sin. Really? Okay, no guppy again. Sorry everybody, I know you're writing home telling uh, your mother, that there'd be a guppy transformation this run. Oh, sorry to make liars out of all of you. Alright, let's take this. And we got a red heart up here. Dark bomb, why haven't you uh, acquiesced this? Thank you. Alright, anything in here? Nothing noteworthy. Let's head down. We could hunt for more red hearts, but honestly, we're fine. Just don't walk over the spikes needlessly. If there's a need to walk over the spikes, that's fine. Needlessly, however, is just... No thanks. Check this out. Oh, it is something. Great. It was nothing. <clears throat> Alright. To Cathedral we go. Right, nice troll bomb for some reason. Is it two troll bombs? One in the chest, maybe? Alright. Those guys melted. Like a hot knife through butter. Apparently one of my favorite phrases to say during this, uh... This segment of the video. Or in any of these videos. Where are these guys? Okay. Perfect. A nice sack full of... A key and a bomb. Empty room. Dead end. Well, we got it all stats up, I think, from Death's List. That's nice. There's no exit there. Why did I walk down there? Alright, we could head to the right, maybe? Not particularly, but that's okay. We got a nickel. We already have way over 99 cents, so I'm not sure why I even pick it up. But hey. Oopsie doopsie. Alright, let's just run while we got 
Polaroid. Alright, that was my fault. I was in a little bit of a rush. And Death's List compensated as, <laughs> as well as uh, Guppy's Tail, it seems. Alright, anything cool in here? No. Alright, let's do a full clear of the cathedral. That'll show him. Red Heart? No? Okay. Ouch. Nice. Alright, let's save for our keys. We don't have as much as we have 99 bombs and coins. We don't have 99 keys. So let's save them up for potential chests on the chest just to make this run that much more hilarious. Oh my gosh, we really did do a full clear. Okay, all stats up from death's list. Okay, it seems we took damage in that room accidentally. Dark bomb. Thank you. And we got a minute of invincibility. Doing some maw, doing some <clears throat> rubber cement. Favorite item. Uh, some people say I like fruitcake. Fruitcake is no rubber cement. That's all I'll say to that. Alright, cover the room. There's Isaac. There we go. If we get the right path, we could finish in under 35 minutes. That would be nice. Curse of the Blind, how unfortunate. And we don't get to know what we're taking. We could roll into anything crazy. None of these have stats. That has a stat. Um, and Skinny Out Mushroom is actually an all stats up. Good to note. Because usually it's a, you know, a tears up and a damage down. But I guess it depends. Because if we had a bunch of tears items all run, maybe it would have just been a damage down. I guess that's how it would have worked. I don't know. Right, we'll try to do this, but that doesn't work out because of the scythes. So no death list, and apparently no uh, Guppy's Tail payout at this point either. What's up with that? There we go. Tough love. Perfect. Right, don't poop. Perfect. Red chests. What's up with the red chests? They don't even have Guppy in them. It's an insult and a travesty. My reflection, that's unfortunate. But it technically isn't all stats up because it is a range up. And that's just going to vibe with uh, rubber cement in a certain way, I suppose. Gemini, pointless. No offense. Right, where's the other one? He's like right here, right? Oh my gosh. We were just, just a little next to him when I thought we were above him. Unicorn stump? That'd be great for Gemini, I guess. But we're not that crazy. Alright. Steam sale, and of course, Dead Bird. There we go. Another run in the books. A streak of 20. Nearing my personal best of just playing, you know, for myself of like 33, I think. But I haven't tried to streak in quite a while. So hopefully we can break and beat that soon. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. 37 prime days until repentance. And another win in the Eden streak. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Please leave a dislike if you hated it. And uh, tell your friends, you know, uh, if you enjoyed this. Because, you know, that'd be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for another video. And until then, have a great day.